Hello and welcome to Threadily. I'm back under the arbor. It is evening, but I have one more book to review today. It was released today. Welcome to the world, Carrie Vaughn's The Heirs of Loxley. Not trying to be dramatic or anything, but it really does show up well in dark, doesn't it? So I discovered that Carrie Vaughn had a new book coming out. Um, the last series of hers that I really enjoyed was Bannerless and The Wild Dead. I haven't read many of her other works simply by virtue of not having run across them before, but when I saw there was a new Vaughn book coming out, I realized I must read it. So I grabbed an arc and I read it, and today it is in the world, and today you get to hear about it. The Heirs of Loxley is a Robin Hood retelling. Uh, I believe this is the second in the series, but I could be wrong about that. It stands perfectly well on its own feet. It's about, I would say it was a novella length work. It's pretty short as far as Robin Hood retellings usually are. I have read many a 600 page Robin Hood retelling and this is definitely not that. Um, this follows Robin and Marion's children um, they have three in this story. The eldest is Mary. She is 20 and she has been sort of engaged to a guy that she's never met uh, for four years. And then the next child is John. He's uh, serious but also likes to get into a little bit of trouble. He's a good blend of both parents, Marion being the responsible one. And then the third child is Eleanor, and Eleanor cannot speak, she has no voice. And there's something really beautiful about siblings done well. Even though this was a short work, I completely fell in love with these kids, and I completely fell in love with the family as a whole. So that's really cool. Like the fact that it made me emotional by the end, if you enjoy a Robin Hood retelling, if you enjoy a sibling's story, I would recommend The Heirs of Luxley by Carrie Vaughn. <laughs> I would say that this is one retelling that I will be revisiting. <laughs>